cobalt, mined by children's hands in dangerous and dirty conditions in the Democratic Republic of Congo, filmed by Sky News. Cobalt is one of 40 minerals that end up in smartphones, part of a bewilderingly complex global supply chain, from suppliers to smelters to factories, assembly lines. Finally, it ends up in our own hands. The clean, blank modernity of the digital revolution erases its grim origins. What they need to be doing and companies should be doing is engaging with their suppliers to impro improve the conditions at the mine site, to remove children from the mines, so that mining really can be a source of growth and jobs instead of insecurity and child labor. These are called artisanal mines and they provide a livelihood to about a fifth of the population in the DRC. But they're also open to abuse. Sky News filmed children as young as four working in appalling conditions. The cobalt they mined ended up being bought by a Chinese cobalt mining company called Huayu CDM. Huayu told us they had immediate plans for improving the situation. But we asked them three times if they would apologize for using child labor. But just to, so, so Huayu isn't sorry. I, I don't want to say in that way. You understand? We are proud of our, our, our work in DRC. And uh, the, the local guys also, uh, ha we have a very good reputation. And also, uh, Sky News, you are more than welcome to tell us what we should do to help to improve this situation. Cobalt is mainly used for batteries in smartphones, laptops and electric cars. Some of Huawei's cobalt went to third party battery makers. Their batteries ended up in Apple's products. Apple told me they've now instructed Huayu to stop sourcing cobalt from artisanal mines until they can be verified. They also said, Apple is deeply committed to the responsible sourcing of materials for our products, and we've led the industry in establishing the strictest standards for our suppliers. We were the first company to map our cobalt supply chain down to the mine, and 100% of our smelters are participating in independent third-party audits. The company has also launched initiatives on the ground with NGOs like Pact, more than a lot of tech and auto companies bother with. Most just rely on questionnaires and surveys filled out by their own suppliers. Tesla, BMW, Renault, Samsung and Dell all told us that, as far as they knew, no cobalt from Huayu entered their supply chains. The average smartphone has around 10 grams of cobalt. Let's call that a teaspoon's worth. Now, laptop batteries have more around three times as much. 30 grams, so we'll call that a tablespoon there. But when it comes to electric car batteries, we're not talking spoons, we're talking buckets, around 10 kilograms per battery. That means a lot more cobalt mined as more electric cars are sold. This may look like a AA battery, but it's the sort of fuel cell you'll find in an electric vehicle. Researchers here in University College London are stripping it down to measure how much cobalt it contains. Companies and universities like ours are trying to reduce the amount of cobalt that's being used in these different battery chemistries. But in the near future, we can expect there's going to be a significant amount of cobalt demand to service the lithium ion battery market as it continues to grow with the growth of the electric vehicle market. The smartphone revolution is already 10 years old. The devices we now delight in are impossibly sleek and powerful. But the brutal conditions that make them possible still seem like the relic of another age. Tom Cheshire, Sky News.